We're at the store of what used to be uh, formerly known as ABC Music in Benicia, and this is uh, Stan Houston. He's the owner of the store. And um, we're just going to let him tell, uh, give us a little tour and show what has changed because it's a rather dramatic change and want to clue you in on some of the things that, that he now does in addition to what he used to do. So take it away, Stan. Okay, welcome aboard. So uh, the name of the new store is Mozart, Einstein, and Me. Mozart for music, Einstein for science, and the and me, I'll let you guys figure out which artist it is, but it's the uh, handwriting of a very famous 20, 20th century artist. Anyway, so we decided that because only 5% of the general population is involved in music at any one time, that 95% of the general public was walking by our stores and not bothering to come in. So we've changed all that. We've made it very shopper friendly and what we've done is we've uh, added to the concept that music turns on the right hand side of the brain with other items of interest, again science and art, that also um, become fertilizer for the brain so to speak. So we have um, not, not stayed away or diminished our uh, say uh, the sales of music products. Uh, we still do band programs. We still have lessons. We do everything a music store would do, but and then some. So let's go to the um, let's go to the science section, if you will. Um, this whole table is um, related to science uh, projects with um, different avenues to take. Um, so we've got uh, this is a circuit game that comes with 15 different pieces of paper that tend to be, uh, that actually are templates for a, a circuit. And, and you have to go ahead and put the right pieces in the right pattern to, uh, to turn on the circuit. And, um, you know, when you get it all put together in the right place, why then this thing flashes a light uh, letting you know that you did great. Um, here's a turn on Rubik's Cube that is completely different but the product behaves the same way you're solving uh, different sides and uh, again spatial relationships uh, the store is just filled with all kinds of products that emulate spatial re uh, relationship building for the right hand side of the brain I'm gonna squeeze to the other side here um, energy kinetic direct oh, Newton's uh, cradle is an interesting product because most people will come by and they'll just do that, and they don't even know what's really going on. You know, it's a transfer of energy from one side to the other. And you don't have to tell them that. All you have to do is say, well, if you take two, what would you expect? And that energy is transferred. And of course, what happens if you do it from both sides? And what if you did it unequally? So this one is released just a little ahead of the other one. It gets tangled up, and you have to throw the damn thing away. So anyway, it's fun stuff. Um, as simple as a hand boiler, why does it work? And you know, you get into a conversation with the customer and they start to see the differences that you're making. We have um, clean water science projects. We have flying science projects. Um, you know, as little as three years old, we've got the huge magnifying glass so you can go down in the dirt and look at bugs up close. I feel like Mel Brooks and Spaceballs, you know? The kids love this. Um, color laboratories, the science of different colors and so forth. Uh, it just kind of goes on and on. Um, there's a fairly new um, event, uh, Maker Space. Everybody has it throughout the country. Um, and basically it's how products work. You can build your own products. Here's a product that takes on that kind of uh, Thing, you know, inventions, you can build nine or ten different projects with this. So it's all fun stuff. Um, but then we get into the silly stuff. You know, some of the old timers remember these. And uh, what makes it go? Why does it work? You know, those are the kinds of things that go with something like this, even though it looks like a simple toy. That's science. We've got games for spatial relationship building uh, and, and, um, and puzzles that really require the right-hand side of the brain to start figuring out three-dimensionally 
how a puzzle goes together. Um, and a lot of the stuff is also just family orientated that, you know, you really got to start thinking about how do I play this? What works? You know, how do I beat my opponent? And then we move into the art section. Uh, so we've got paintings here. This is a wonderful product out of Europe where the canvas is silk screened in such a way that it won't allow you to paint outside the lines. So everybody becomes a really good artist. And it's not intended for somebody that's 18 that is an artist or older, and it's intended for somebody that isn't an artist and gives you that stable feeling of, hey, I can do this. And so there's all kinds of sizes and products that you can do. Um, this is a great um, puzzle, three-dimensionally. Uh, you get to put together your own flowers. We've got ways to paint bracelets. And so, again, you know, the grooves are recessed so that you can't really paint outside the line, and you make this beautiful little bracelet. Uh, more games, uh, and again, famous artists. I don't know if you can see this, Daniel Merriman. Uh, this is, uh, and this company uh, that makes these puzzles is uh, rated the second highest puzzle company in the world. I didn't realize that there's a quality level to puzzles, but there is. No dust, uh, nice interlocking features, and so forth and so on. We have puzzles for adults. We have puzzles for Alzheimer's patients. We have puzzles for three-year-olds. Um, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, some of the stuff, you know, you might find in a Target, but probably not. And back to spatial relationship type games. Everybody knows Legos. This is the miniature version called Nanoblocks. You can make these products. This is an electric guitar. You can actually make this Lego type product right in the palm of your hand. Magformers uh, won a Mensa award several years ago. These, um, these pieces These individual pieces have 360 degree cylinder uh, ba um, magnets and so that you can take and instead of making a two-dimensional object you can make a three-dimensional object and believe me the kids are a whole lot better at this process than I am but you can see how you can make things and they and they hang together you can make balls homes squares all kinds of stuff and they've been really uh, selling quite nicely. Uh, down below, more science. These are actual electronic circuits that you can build. Um, strobe lights, flying saucer, and uh, so uh, really kind of cool stuff. One of the things we made sure of is, is that of all the products we brought in, and we've got hacky sacks, um, miniature drum sets, that the price points are generally under $20 so that um, you can go to a birthday party and have a large selection of product for both girls and boys but the prices are generally 20 bucks and under and that makes mom feel really good uh, we got to maintain that status you know indoor frisbees so that when you hit the lamp you don't hit it over um, old-fashioned and updated type um, uh, yo-yos and uh, and you know you got to learn how it works and why it works and uh, there's always a small card in here explaining the the principles of, of what's going on and they're fun to play with we even have uh, we have puzzles for two and three year olds this is a sealed puzzle with a magnetic stick so the balls don't come out they can't come out but you can take the stick and move the balls around in the maze. Again, spatial relationship building. And if you're over, uh, if you're over 40 like I am, or 50 like I am, or 60 like I am, you'll get a kick out of these. You'll remember these. And again, we brought back the old bingo cards for the car rides. 
Uh, so this, you know, if you've taken that long trip from Montana to Cleveland, God help you all. But there are things now that are just great for kids to occupy their time. And speaking of occupying their time, here's a great book we brought in called Hide and Seek. So you know how you used to get under the covers and turn all the, all the lights, go to bed, and then you'd sneak a flashlight into your room and you'd read a book. Well, this one will need a flashlight because you'll sign flash the light behind the page and inside the object there'll be all kinds of things that light up and tell a story. Really quite unique. And of course another I'm in the back seat book for that vacation trip. All the colored toys, the packages that you see here are uh, designed in Europe uh, by one company. They're made out of recycled wood and they're compression molded. Um, we had uh, this, this actual sample here is now almost a year old and it's been taken out on the outside sidewalk uh, by many a child. Still works great, perfectly. Um, just high quality stuff for not an awful lot of money. Again, uh, some science projects here. And then just uh, uh, we went, we went and did some basics. Everybody remembers Etch-A-Sketch. This is the mini version. Great for the car. Um, these are uh, little bug uh, cylinders. They, the top opens up, becomes a magnifying glass, and also a receptacle to put the bug in. So you're now you're looking right at the bug in your receptacle. Mommy, look what I caught. Great stuff. Um, these boxes tell a story as well as do the companion books. Uh, these are all products that come from uh, San Francisco's Golden Gate Chapter Society and they're educational. Each side of each of these boxes tells a different story. So this one is of a lighthouse and you can see the gentleman there and he's going up to the lighthouse to do something. And on the other side is the lighthouse story. And on the other side are all the things that would live around a lighthouse. And then all the things that happen around a lighthouse. And of course it's a stacking thing, right? Spatial relationship building again. And here's our little music section for the things that we know we need to keep uh, for the serious and non-serious musician. Uh, you'll notice that in perspective of this video that Terry's shooting, uh, we're in the back of the store. So I treated accessories and everyday things like milk, eggs, and butter. So when you go to a grocery store, milk, eggs, and butter are always in the rear. So this is milk, eggs, and butter in the music business. Sheet music. Sorry to say, but um, <clears throat> things like The Carpenters, in another two years, this book will not be sold anywhere at any music store. And the reason is, is nobody knows who they are. Which is kind of tragic, but that's the way it is. B.B. Uh, King just died, and um, I got to see him two or three times, but a 13-year-old doesn't know who B.B. King is. Nor does a 13-year-old know who the Beatles are, or Linda Ronstadt, journey. I know it makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Uh, but that's retail. Retail keeps changing and so we're changing with it. We have a philosophy. It's the customer that puts the product on the shelf, not the buyer. A really good buyer is a really good listener. So we're happy doing what we're doing. Um, uh, if you uh, go down to your local um, gift store, toy store, uh, 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 hopefully a boutique store, and look for Belize, which is this game here. It is a magnet game, and you, each opponent picks a color that they want to pick up by magnet, which if you're only going to go for one and it's separated, that's not too bad. Can I get two? Oh, oh, look what else I picked up. So I'm disqualified, and it goes to the next player. Funny, goes in a bag. Do not bring it on the car. You'll be hearing these chime for years.
gotten creative in displaying things that were so mundane before, right? So, uh, lots of fun stuff. Puzzles and more puzzles and... I had never seen this before, but this is a three-dimensional puzzle that comes with a little wind-up motor inside. Uh, the entire product uh, retails for about five dollars. There's the little motor directions. There's the puzzle. You break apart the pieces, put it together, and you've got a motorized scooter. Not too bad, huh? Believe me, it's better than a video game on your iPhone. So just a lot of fun stuff, entertaining, and of course then there's the gift stuff. So when you come in the store, you can bring your whole family. The kids sit down at a table and play a game, you know, and we're over there making buttons with them, which are for free, showing them how a new puzzle or a game works. Mom and Dad are over here looking at such literary achievements as put-downs and zingers. You got to have one, you know? Sketch pads are big right now, so we've got a variety of them. Um, they make great gifts. The, uh, the selfies book, what a classic, huh? I can't believe how many people take selfies. Well, now you can print them off and put them into an actual photo collection book. I think it should be called Selfish, but that's just me. Um, guest books. We have one for uh, the cubicle. People can sign in and, in your cubicle. Here's one for the couch. We sold out of the guest books for the bathroom. More puzzles. Have you noticed we're kind of mixing things together, but not too dramatically? So, mom and dad are looking at, you know, some kind of gift or gifty little thing. Uh, some kind of philosophic little journal that's fun to write in and at the same time I'm exposing them to a puzzle. Uh, looks like Kandinsky here, huh? Um, yeah. And they're looking at it and going, gee, you know what? John would like that at work. And they buy it. It's that simple. More books, more uh, Fun books, journals. This is the wine journal. Uh, we sold out of the one that's spelled W-H-I-N-E. There's a lot of that going around. Um, the pregnancy book for men. I haven't seen one guy buy it, but women are flocking to it, let me tell you. And here we are, back towards the uh, middle of the store. We're even selling chocolate, which has become quite popular. Um, and it's also all boutique chocolate. So uh, there's a young man that's got a place up in Humboldt County in the city of Eureka. And he's making actually pure chocolate. There's no marijuana in it, which has been very depressing for some people. But uh, he does a great job. Uh, and the customers enjoy it. You know, they buy a chocolate this bar. Is some chili chocolate. Yeah, chili chocolate. Can you believe it? It's got a real kick. <coughs> For those of you that have gone to La Las Vegas and admired Bellagio and the music fountains, well, this is the mini version. And um, we've had these in here about five or six days and already sold five of them. $59.95. You can plug your iPhone in there. You can drive it with your laptop, iPad, whatever. And for those of you that are really tech savvy, picture you hooking it up to your iPhone at night or other smartphone and integrating it into your alarm system so that when you wake up in the morning, this is what's waking you up. I can guarantee you, you'll be rushing to the bathroom. Water does it every time. And if you don't remember this, you're really young. Just fun stuff. Two different uh, mechanical properties, physical element type properties 
two laws of physics that are going on here, which are nicely described on the back and on the sides of how this works, why it works. Uh, it's really more than a novelty. Um, a lot, when I was a kid, a lot of the high school chem teachers or physics teachers would have one of these on their desk. And for anybody that could figure out why they work, they were given a, you know, a little uh, bonus. And as you can see, we haven't spared anything with regards to music. We still have what we call ample guitars for our market in this town. Livermore's store has about 80 guitars. They're a much bigger store. And their population is 90,000 people. We only have 30,000 people here. What about the front window over there? So the front window... The bouncing toys. The, uh, the front window here is, is, is actually kind of... Um, the beginning of the sentence of how we changed. Um, that window was full of uh, musical instruments and everybody would walk by the store and they'd say, gee, John, look at that, a music store, and they'd walk on by. So in order to get more people in the store and show them all the new things we brought in, we put these objects called whoppers uh, in the window and um, they uh, have been quite popular. They're on a display motor right now running automatically, but when one buys them individually, you simply hang them on a hook suspended from your living room ceiling or the nursery ceiling or your office ceiling. And when you want them to go up and down, you just pull them. And uh, You know, it's... it's uh, it's one of those feel-good products, so you would just go ahead and grab the string, pull it down to the bottom, you would let go, and you get this thing going up and down for about a minute or two. I sell them as the new timer for first-time parents changing diapers. So that'll occupy your newborn for about a minute or two, and if you can't get on a newfangled diaper in that time, you're going to lose big time. So they're fun. Uh, designed in Germany, uh, just uh, all kinds of little things to occupy your office or, you know, have a good time just looking at the product. And of course, back to music. We get a little crazy from time to time going to gift shows and toy shows. So I saw this whole line of uh, clocks and um, you know I took a chance and you roll the dice and actually they're fun. We've sold a few, they warm up the room and I personally have a very small chicken farm so the chickens are kind of near and dear to me. More art on the walls. Home um, decor. This particular series uh, is all hand painted art from France. And I say, I shouldn't say hand painted, uh, mostly giclés. Uh, so machine press printed, but uh, originally inspired in France. And uh, it, it, they've turned out to be very nice pieces, you know, nice warm and fuzzy stuff. And then, of course, that artwork gets transferred to, you know, a little notebook or, you know, a little, a little purse mirror, you know, throw it in your purse. It all works together. Business card holder with a nice modern piano graphic on it. Music boxes have been a, quite a hit. So on the back of every box is the name of the tune uh, that when you wind it, it plays. Nice picture of Gotti's, uh, one of his, I think this is his home in uh, Barcelona. Uh, 
Yeah, great place if you ever get to go there. And it's got a nice little Vivaldi theme as you wind it up. And we sell these probably 50 every month. Um, looks great in a nice little gift bag, retails for 10 bucks. And then you can match it. Sometimes you can match it with a gift card. So that's, that's kind of a whole deal, music, science, and art.